Safe strap recovery. Some people have questions on what this recovery is and how to use it and how it looks and just a lot of different questions. So let's go ahead and cover safe strap recovery in as full detail as we possibly can. All right, let's go. All right, so first of all, you have your phone. And with your phone, I'm going to make an assumption that you already have safe strap recovery installed on your phone. I have a whole bunch of videos on my channel on how to install safe strap recovery and I have a whole bunch of other videos explaining it. So what this video is actually covering is safe strap in itself and how it looks and how it's supposed to function and just little details of of safe strap as you're working with it. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and just turn it off and then okay it's a full power off. Now whenever you have safe strap recovery it installs the TWRP recovery onto your phone, but at the same time, you do keep your stock recovery running in the background. So let me show you what the normal and the stock way of getting into recovery is. This way, you cannot enter into safe strap recovery if you do it this way. This will just boot you into your phone's stock recovery. It's not going to be safe strap recovery. So to do that, you hold down the home button. You press the volume up and power, and you just keep on holding those. And as you see, it says rebooting into recovery in blue text right there. And then you will boot into your phone's recovery. Now, now as you see, it is called Android System Recovery, and I'm on the NC4 firmware version of KitKat on my Verizon Note 3. This is the stock recovery. This is not safe strap recovery. So if for some odd reason you're not able to get into safe strap because you're doing that button combo, that's why. You have your stock recovery. That combination of buttons, if you read it in forums or posts and they say go into your recovery, and in reality you're using safe strap for a reason. You're using it so you don't have to mess up your system and so you don't have to worry about messing up your system. That's why it's called safe strap. So if you're having issues getting into safe strap because you for some odd reason are using a key combo this is the wrong way to do it so let me show you the right way to do it so I'm gonna go ahead and re select the first option which is reboot recovery system by pressing the power button so this will completely reboot the phone and as you see there's no blue text so right now it's like if I restarted the phone or turned it off and then turned it back on this is where you catch safe strap. As you see, it's enabled. You hit recovery here on the side. There's recovery, and then there's continue. Continue will progress into your ROM. So just keep going. And after 10 seconds, it'll automatically go. So the only, the only time you really have to worry about that screen is if you're wanting to get into recovery. And as you saw on there, I showed you it was green, and it said safe strap enabled. So let me make this clear right now. Um, whenever you see that screen, and as you saw, it was green, and it says safe strap enabled, that means that you're using one of your ROM slots. So let's go ahead and go in here. So let's go into boot options. All right, and as you see, ROM slot three is activated for me. I have a ROM here, here, and here, and then you always have a stock ROM, or at least you should have. So whenever you have this stock ROM activated, it will say safe strap disabled instead of enabled and it will be red. That does not mean that you don't have a ROM. That does not mean that you do not have a firmware or an operating system. If it says safe strap disabled, that means that the stock ROM is active. And that means you're able to boot into it, just let it do its thing, unless you corrupted your firmware or you did something. Um, I can actually show you. Uh, if I go into the stock ROM slot, and activate it okay so as you see right here this the ROM slot is stock and stock ROM slot so now whenever I boot to it you'll see a red screen so let me go ahead and do that real quick and to do that I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the home button and then reboot and then system okay this time the phone will actually not boot 
and the reason for that is because it's on the stock ROM slot and I have an NC2 bootloader and as you see safe strap disabled and they will continue on its own in 10 seconds now it will probably get stuck on the Verizon logo and you'll see here in a second so this is uh, the Verizon Note 3 stock NC4 firmware now as you saw I was using the other three ROM slots so to actually use the ROMs I have in those ROM slots I have to use the NC2 bootloader and that means that this NC4 stock firmware needs the NC4 bootloader for it to boot there's NC4 and NC2 they're two different firmwares and this will actually be stuck on this red screen forever because it doesn't have the appropriate bootloader for it to boot in to the actual stock ROM. So if your phone looks like this and your phone has the safe strap disabled with the little red robot animation at the beginning, that means you do have your stock installed onto your phone. And if for some odd reason it gets stuck on the Verizon or whatever provider you have screen, then that probably means that your bootloader's messed up or that something went wrong with your stock ROM. And the best option would actually be to flash everything completely back to stock. You lose everything inside of your internal storage, but it'll bring your phone back to life. And I will be making a new video on the NC4 firmware. I have videos for MJE firmware and NC2 firmware. If you want, go check those out in my channel. Um, you could just click on my name down below here. Uh, I will also leave links in the description down below. So this whole time I've been purposely talking and leaving the phone here so you could see that it will not boot. So I'm actually going to have to pull the battery and reboot the phone because it will not boot. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. <clears throat> so I'm going to have to pull off the cover, still the Verizon thing, pull the battery, put it back in, snapping it in. All right, and you'll see I'm going to power it on. Normally, it's just power button, no stock recovery. You know, I didn't do the button combination. And you'll see that the safe strap is going to be red and disabled. All right, and I'm going to go into recovery. So just as a recap, it like you saw right there, if it says safe strap disabled, it means that you are on your stock ROM, and it doesn't mean that you don't have safe strap installed it means that you are on your stock ROM slot so safe straps installed and you're on stock so everything should be fine if, if your bootloader and everything's in check and you have your stock firmware there should be absolutely no reason that your phone is not booting in so like as I explained earlier the only reason that your phone wouldn't boot up when safe strap is disabled is if your firmware is corrupted or if you have the wrong bootloader if you've been messing around with it alright so we're back on the phone alright so back on the phone as you see stock ROM slot we're gonna change that go into boot options and I'm gonna go to ROM slot 3 and I'm gonna go ahead and activate it there we go so as you see up top ROM slot ROM slot 3 is active and ROM slot 3 is active alright so I'm gonna go ahead and go home and then I'm going to hit reboot and system. There we go. So as I stated previously, uh, now it should be it should have safe strap enabled in green, and I'm just gonna let it go. This means safe strap is still installed. Either way, it's installed. It just means that I have one of the ROM slots active. Now I'm still on the NC4 firmware of my phone it's just that I had to flash the NC2 bootloader to get these ROMs working so I have everything NC4 except for the bootloader and I think one more file uh, but my next video will explain that and there you go alright so I just wanted to clear up a couple of things with SafeStrap here um, some of you have been having questions and saying that SafeStrap says disabled or SafeStrap says enabled regardless of what message you get if you have that animation that pops up with the green animation it says SafeStrap enabled 
That means safe strap is enabled and you are using one of the ROM slots. If you have that same animation, but it's red and it says safe strap disabled, that means safe strap is installed, but you're using the stock ROM slot. So I apologize if I'm repeating myself over and over again, but I just want to make it absolutely clear what that boot means. A lot of people will tell me that safe strap is not installed, and I think they're mistaking the red safe strap disabled animation as safe strap not installed. It is installed, it's just you're using your stock ROM slot. Now, you not being able to boot into your stock ROM slot after you get the red animation with safe strap disabled, you not being to boot after that, that's a completely different issue. That could either be caused by your system being corrupt by whatever means you know there's just so many ways that you can corrupt your system um, maybe you're some tinkering you were doing or flashing something there's a lot of things that could cause that to mess up or it could just be uh, you might have flashed a different bootloader by following a different tutorial or what whatever it may be as I showed you in my example I've actually purposely flashed a different bootloader I flashed an NC2 bootloader onto my NC4 firmware. And that will make sense on my, pre on my next video on how to flash NC4 firmware on your phone and root it. That will make some more sense whenever I start showing you how to add different ROMs to it. So I just wanted to repeat a lot of things over and over in this video and just make sure that you get the general idea of how SafeStrap works what those animations mean at the beginning and how to simply determine the differences between them. So hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, please give me a like down below. If I missed anything or if you want a little bit more in depth into the actual SafeStrap application, as in what all these other options on that window were other than the reboot and the stock ROM slot options. I can go through the other ones if you like. Just leave a comment down below so that I know you do want that video. Your feedback is very important to me guys. And also, like I mentioned before, I'm going to put all the videos down below that I mentioned, uh, but also be, be sure to check out my channel. I have a whole bunch of other videos for the Verizon Note 3 and other phones and just general tech help there. So please be sure to go check those out. I'm pretty sure you'll like those too. Alright guys, please be sure to share this channel and subscribe so you get those videos as soon as they come out. And that's it for now guys, y'all have a good one. Later.